My name is Rosie Honan and I'm a researcher with Charles Darwin University and the Threatened Species Recovery Hub. Dunnarts are marsupials, so they carry their young in a pouch and there's about 19 species in Australia, but only one is found on Kangaroo Island. The Kangaroo Highland Dunnart is listed nationally as endangered and it's quite elusive. Kangaroo Island Dunnart has only been seen at eight sites in the last 20 years, um, but there is about 36 records in total. We are looking at the best ways to detect it, where it's currently distributed, what habitats it survives in and what resources it requires to persist in the landscape. It's really hard to conserve a species when you don't know where it is. And also, if you don't have accurate and reliable detection methods, it's really difficult to know if your conservation and management actions are working. We trapped 42 sites on Western Kangaroo Island in spring of last year and autumn of this year. We used four different methods. So we used pitfall traps, which are pits dug into the ground, Elliot traps, which are aluminium box traps, baited camera traps, and camera traps on thick plastic fence lines. We detected Dunnarts at five of the 42 sites that we surveyed using camera traps. But unfortunately, we didn't find them at most sites with historical records. The most reliable and cost-effective way of detecting Dunnarts is using camera traps on drift fence lines. So these are like hard plastic fence lines that you dig into the ground. And any animal running around um, is forced, if it passes the fence line, to move along the fence in front of a camera and a camera takes a photo of it. Hopefully by monitoring the Dunnart using camera traps and by controlling threats such as feral cats, we can help the species persist on Kangaroo Island in the wild in the long term.